Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video in which I'm taking five pounds and then I'm turning them into art supplies so that I can produce a piece of artwork with. Uh, the whole point of this cheap art supply challenge is to prove that you don't need a massive amount of money to produce um, artwork of any kind. So I chose a few different stores to get my art supplies from because I know that these stores have decent supplies for a cheaper price. So I chose Wilkinson's, uh, the Pound Shop and the Works which are stores that you can commonly get in England. The equivalent to these overseas would be like dollar stores or bureau like shops or anything like that uh, where you can get cheap supplies for a decent amount of money you don't have to pay the earth for. I chose a lot of these supplies because I know that I commonly use supplies like this and we'll have to see if Bella approves of what I've got. Let's have a see. She approved! <laughs> with these supplies, um, it was a little difficult working with them at first, especially with the paintbrush uh, and the pencils. Now the pencils are quite waxy and I couldn't get a good enough pigment off it. A good alternative to these would be, if you're after cheap supplies, would be the WH Smith pencils if you are based in the UK. Um, they are good uh, pencils and they don't cost the earth to actually use. These gel pens were also fantastic. They were very pigmented and bright and I do recommend them and they were only 50p which is fantastic from Wilkinson's. Um, the paintbrush however was absolutely awful. Um, it was a, it's a plastic bristle brush so you will have problems with picking up um, a lot of pigment with it unless you really really soak it and I did struggle with a lot of getting the pigment up and I found that I really had to soak it which is it's not that bad but it was very difficult for me to get the layering that I wanted which I would usually do if I use some of my other cheaper paint brushes that I had but considering I wanted to use everything that I got with my five pounds I thought I'd limit myself to only using that and I, in the end I ended up using my fingers a little bit to try and get a little bit more pigment down. Um, I would say I was disappointed with the pencils, uh, they were just so waxy, I couldn't get anything off the, with them, so in the end I didn't actually end up using them that much apart from doing very subtle shading and um, most of the equipment I ended up using was the paint which dried and was chalky and pastel which is fantastic if you want to do some very pastel uh, work but if you want anything that's a deeper pigment you will have to um, possibly look at different types of paints. Um, different types of paints uh, dry a certain ways and because these are um, these dry quite chalky you are going to get a very pastel effect with it no matter what colour you put down. Even when I was using the darkest blue and the darkest red it was still drying quite chalky and this is just because of what the paint is made out of. Um, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can create absolutely wonderful work using the cheapest art supplies. You can use just a biro and a pad and that's all you need. You don't need anything spectacular to um, make a piece of artwork and that's something that I really want to stress because I do get um, a few comments every now and again of people saying they wish they had the same art supplies as me because they feel like they produce better artwork and it's not necessarily the truth. Um, you can use any art supplies and you can make anything with your art, uh, art supplies you will get brighter colours out of more expensive paint but it doesn't necessarily mean that the piece itself is going to be better it's all down to you, your practice and I actually use in my sketchbooks and in a lot of the practice work I do I use the cheapest paints I've got because I want to practice my ability and get better with it and plus sometimes I really like the chalky effects that I have with cheap paints because it just feels nicer, it looks nicer and it gives a nicer aesthetic and it's all down to personal preference as well. Um, it's not necessarily that the supplies are bad because they're not bad in any way shape or form, it's just that they act differently if you're going to spend a little bit more money. I kind of want to know what you guys think about um, doing the cheap art supplies but limiting myself to a certain budget. Would you guys like to see more like this? Say where I limit myself to say like £10 or £20. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if there's any favourite like cheap art supplies or where you get your like if you've got your, your cheap art supplies that you can't live without. Mine personally I can't live without biros. Um, I think they create such a wonderful textured effect and I love sketching in them and I love doing expressive sketching with them. 
I think they are just so much fun to do. Um, I also really love the chalky paints that you can get. I've got this um, chalky paint palette from Hobbycraft and I absolutely love it um, to or to the ends of the earth just because I love the effects it gives. I want to know. I want to know what you guys think and let me know it, what challenges you'd like to see me do in the future. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun. It took a bit of practice with the supplies um, to get used to them but I really really enjoyed doing this and I kind of feel like this is almost like a redemption from my last cheap art supply challenge which in my eyes just went completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and my thoughts on um, doing this challenge. I really, really enjoyed doing it. Like limiting yourself to what you spend and the supplies that you use can be an awful lot of fun. And it's a good way to, if you don't usually use them, to practice. So this is just a look over what I bought. In the end, everything came to £4.95. So I didn't even end up spending my full £5. I had my paint palette, my rubber, my uh, gel, gold and silver gel pens. I had everything I needed. And I feel like it turned out all right and I'm pretty proud of it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And subscribe if you wanted to see more content on my video, on my videos and on my channel. But as always folks, stay creative.